Yo, what is up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you the best settings for TCP optimizer in 2024. I'll be showing you how to find the most optimal settings for your PC instead of copying a bunch of settings that may not work for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to do is head to your browser and paste the link that I've provided in the description. This is the official website for TCP Optimizer and I recommend that you only download the application from here uh, in order to prevent downloading any sort of malware or virus. So once you're on the website, you'll see the TCP Optimizer download and just press on the TCP Optimizer 4 button and it should start downloading. So just save it anywhere and it should download pretty quickly because it's uh, quite small in size so once it's done downloading all you need to do is find the location where it has downloaded so the location where you saved the file and all you need to do is right click on the tcp optimizer file and then press run as administrator and you should see a user account control pop up. Just press yes. You need to do that in order to prevent an error from, from coming up. Because if you don't run the application as administrator, uh, TCP Optimizer cannot modify all of these settings. And some of them do require administrator access. So you will come up with an error if you don't launch it as administrator. So once you are inside of TCP Optimizer, what you need to do first is click on the optimal button down here. So under choose settings, click on optimal and then just press apply changes. And once you press on apply changes, you should see this pop up which shows all the different settings that will be changed just press ok it will take a little bit and then you should see a pop-up which asks if you want to reboot your pc so go ahead and click on yes all right so once you restart your pc you need to reopen tcp optimizer and the first thing that we're going to do is set our connection speed all the way to the maximum and next under the network adapter selection you need to select any of your uh, network adapters and then make sure to check the modify all network adapters button so that the settings that you change in here are automatically applied to all the network adapters present on your computer and the next thing that we're going to do is under the choose settings tab click on custom so that we can customize these settings and next under mtu what we're going to do is First, to find out the most optimal MTU for our connection, what you need to do is head to this tab right here, the MTU slash latency tab, and then just press on largest MTU. So this should automatically ping a server and find out the best MTU according to your connection specifications. So for me, it's going to be 1492. And as you can see, my MTU is set to 1492. And next, what you need to do is change the RSC to disabled. And the other settings, we're going to leave them to whatever they were because we applied the optimal settings first. So these are already optimized according to our connection. Next, for the advanced settings, we're going to leave these settings uh, to their optimal values and over here what we need to do is change the gaming tweaks so first up for the network throttling index we're going to set that to disabled for the system responsiveness we're going to set that to gaming zero for the tcp ack frequency we're going to set that to disabled for the tcp no delay we're going to set that to enabled and for the TCP Dell ACK ticks, we're going to set that to disabled zero. And next up for the network memory allocation for the large system cache, we're going to set that to enabled and the size is going to be optimized. And that is it for this tab. 
the other settings we're gonna leave them to their optimal values and then just click on apply changes and you should see a list of all the settings that have been modified just press ok and then you'll see a pop-up to reboot your computer so just click on yes and once you reboot your PC, the most optimal settings for TCP optimizer will be applied. So that is pretty much it for this video. And if it helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.